Maine's hospitals say they need help in dealing with it all. And today, Governor Janet Mills said they're going to get it. And her plan includes activating 75 members of the National Guard. New Center Maine's Hannah Deneen is outside the state's largest hospital tonight, Maine Medical Center, to tell us more. Hannah? Pat and Cindy health systems across the state say they're facing a dire situation here at Maine Medical Center, the state's largest hospital on Monday. Its ICUs were full to such an extent it couldn't take on any more COVID-19 patients. So now Governor Janet Mills is calling in reinforcements to help. They're at a tipping point, and that's why today I'm activating additional members of the National Guard under state orders. Governor Janet Mills calling on the National Guard as Maine's hospitals are stretched to their limits. This video from Maine Medical Center shows people being treated in a hallway, a sign of how full the hospital is. Health care is jeopardized for those who need it, and our health care workers, how heroic as they are, are more exhausted than ever before. Next week through the end of January, as many as 75 additional National Guard members will support Maine hospitals by performing non-clinical tasks like transferring patients. I'm also deploying National Guard members to administer monoclonal antibodies a treatment that can help keep Maine people out of the hospital and out of critical care. The goal for the National Guard to take pressure off the hospitals. Doing a deployment of up to 75 Members of the National Guard will certainly free up dozens of beds in our hospitals. Another way they're freeing up space, postponing non-emergency surgeries. Right now, 50% of surgeries at Maine Med are being postponed. Eastern Maine Medical Center plans to postpone some beginning Friday. There are no immediate plans to tap into overflow care sites like the state was planning when the pandemic first started. But even if that became necessary, staffing those would be an obstacle. If we wanted to expand, we're not going to have nurses, doctors, um, phlebotomists, respiratory therapists, and so that's really not an option. Right now, Governor Mills says she is not planning to impose a return to statewide restrictions, but she is urging everyone to take precautions, follow CDC guidelines, and like every other health official we heard from today, to get your vaccine. Live in Portland, Hannah Deneen, Pat and Cindy, back to you. All right, Hannah, thank you.